Hey, how's it going? Everyone, Taze in here, bringing you some awesome news updates regarding .hack.g last recode. So kicking things off firstly, as part of the figure out zero line, we are getting two .hack.g last recode figures. These are both of the black and white version of Haseo's third form, and these look incredible. So these are all uh, pre-painted PVC figures. They're non-posable and about 15 centimeters in height with the base. The black version has the .hack.g last recode sign, whereas the white version has the 15th anniversary sign instead. And each includes a short story booklet regarding secrets of Haseo's third form and secrets of Haseo's past. So to get uh, both booklets, you would need to get both uh, figures, but we're not sure yet on whether we will get an English print of these booklets. So let's hope and keep our fingers crossed. Both are scheduled to release in April next year and pre-orders are starting to currently open up on different sites. I've been checking a few and there aren't many, but I'll leave a link to one below and hopefully we do start seeing them pop up on more sites, you know, and hopefully you may get some good discounts and stuff. And you know, again, hopefully you may get more information on whether there will be English prints of these little secret booklets that come with them. Secondly, there will be a Blu-ray re-release of the .hack GU movie trilogy. This is going to be released on November 24th of this year and it will have limited production until November 23rd of next year. One thing to know about this is that it doesn't include the bonus booklet and instruction paper that was included with the 2008 Blu-ray release of this and we're not yet sure whether it will get an English release but I'm very hopeful it will. So for those of you who aren't aware of the Blu-ray trilogy or maybe more interested in just uh, getting a digest of the GU story from the trilogy instead and then going straight to volume 4, maybe this could be a good purchase for you then. Thirdly, Japanese online video game and anime merchandise retailer Army Army are having exclusive .hack.g last recode pre-order bonus with both the standard and premium edition of the games, whereby you get two acrylic keychain figures, one of Haseo and the other of Kite. So if you are very much interested in getting .hack.g merchandise, and merchandise is exclusive, or you're interested in pre-ordering the Japanese premium edition of the game, then this could be a great pre-order bonus for you. Now moving on to updates regarding the game itself. So for volume 4, a new enemy has been confirmed called Shadow Calamity Bagata. Apparently he can open holes in space and use them to teleport. So Haseo apparently will have trouble fighting him in his X form. So he will eventually need to upgrade to his fifth form. We also have more information on Haseo's fifth form since the article I talked about last week has been translated into English. So in regards to discussing that Haseo's whips or weapon, the gate of Ouroboros or Ouroboros, can change shape between attacks. We now know that on the first attack it starts by slashing with its long sword mode, then on the second attack it changes to a whip mode and does a sweeping attack. Followed by that on the third mode the sections separate and shoot bullets at enemies which can also be mashed. And then on the fourth attack using the energy Haseo has gathered he will make a big downward slashing attack. Now to me this is very reminiscent in a way of the Kingdom Hearts 2 specifically drive forms. Also Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep but will really be interesting to see how this works whether it's very fluid. You know another thing I think of is the Final Fantasy 15 episode Dust Guy demo where you know uh, Noctis was switching out between different weapons. It's also important to note that it appears Asaya will lose the ability to use previous weapons once upgraded to the fifth form, but this weapon itself takes on different exclusive forms based on each of the eight phase avatars and it has different special effects associated with that form. So for example, the first form Skeeth, uh, the weapon changes into a scythe and does high damage. So again, although we may be losing the ability to use previous weapons, the sword itself is actually changing into weapons based on the forms of the avatars. And regarding Haseo's double trigger skill that I mentioned earlier, we now know that by using one of the first four phase arts, he's able to activate the double skill trigger. And then with the second four phase arts, the double skill trigger will prompt to allow him to instantly connect to that. Regardless, it will be really cool to actually get some gameplay footage of all of this so we can better understand sort of, you know, the mechanics in action, both with, you know, the sword changing forms between the combos, but also throughout the different phase arts. We're currently seeing pictures but it will be really great to see sort of how this is implemented and how fluid it is. You know, this may be a complete overhaul to previous sort of gameplay mechanisms in the first three volumes. But regardless, I have a feeling that they've done it, they will have done it in a way where it will really work well. So don't fear that we may not be able to use previous weapons because as again I said, 
these weapons appear to transform. Anyways, there we have it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on some of these sort of updates, both in regards to merchandise and also the gameplay. Again, you know, it's sort of a bit hard to comprehend sort of, you know, some of the gameplay mechanisms of the fifth form until we actually see gameplay footage of that. But I think once we see that, we can really start to understand it better. And I have a feeling it will be very exciting. Again, you know, this is something for volume four. So we still have the other three volumes to play. So I feel like, you know, if this is an exclusive form and we can't use previous forms and weapons, that's okay because it was something that will make volume four a unique experience. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll enjoy it. And until next video, stay spot on.